The first thing I would say that I knew was because it's a field that is constantly changing, I didn't want to use a textbook. And I wanted to be able to access materials uh, that were up to date and that were current that would allow the students to really know what people were talking about today when it came to digital marketing. The other thing I noticed or I really wanted to do, or two other things I really wanted to do, first was I wanted to make sure that none of the assessment or assignments were busy work. I wanted them to have a life for the students and a value for the students after the class was over. And that's why I do these third-party certifications. That's why I uh, require the students to blog. And the third part of the class that was really important to me was getting the students into the digital marketing community as soon as possible. And that's why I work with uh, professionals locally, regionally, internationally, um, to do video chats with the class so that students will finish the class at least feeling that they virtually knew people in the industry after they finish the class. And so while, like I said, that the sort of the topics that we've covered have shifted over time, the sort of the, the format of the class has been pretty constant since I first started teaching. One of the things that I say at the very beginning of the principles of marketing class is that anything, even if you don't go into marketing, the things you learn in marketing are good for marketing yourself. And so one of the things that I realized in terms of teaching the class was I'm giving them the ability to essentially do content marketing for themselves, which is a really important skill within digital marketing. So you know, all the things that they do in terms of social media uh, to sort of promote their own work, that's the type of thing that a client would expect them to do if they were working for a social media agency or their boss would do if they were sort of the social media manager of a firm. As opposed to just creating an exam and then grading it and then giving them a score, I uh, so have selected four different third-party digital marketing certifications that are all free. Google Analytics, um, Hootsuite so, um, Social Media Software Management, HubSpot Inbound Marketing, and then Google Ads. And the students take those uh, exams in class and then they uh, send me the screenshot of their score. That score goes into the, the, the grade book. And then once they get that certification, they're able to put that on their LinkedIn. Not only you know, do I have my degree from Western Washington University, but I'm Google Analytics and Google Ads and HubSpot and Hootsuite certified. I don't use a textbook. I have everybody blog. I have everybody do certifications. And then the second half of class usually involves a video chat. I started inviting people who were doing the job for real to talk about that job. In 2013, I would ask people that were like me to do the Hangouts because I felt like they'd been doing this for 15, 20 years. Um, but then I realized that the students hear enough of people like me. What would be really valuable for the students is for them to hear what I, the, about the topic from people that were like them. And so I, after a couple years of teaching the class, I sort of dialed back the sort of the senior you know, VP types that were doing this and really got the entry level people, the people who had just taken my class a year and a half ago, who are now doing that topic for real and ask them to do the hangout. And then the feedback I've gotten from students and from employers has been very, very, very positive. Mm -hmm.